Nigga fanned up low seven. Who up? You good? I'm alive, I'm beefing. Shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, fuck your head, man. Shot this shit. Who up? You want to speak on being on um, speaking of gun bars on generic bars versus being direct bars? You said. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, I I seen James Posey was like talking about how indirect bars are kind of like whack and he don't fuck with that. You know, so uh -huh. I think that's part of the problem with battle rap is people just won't accept people having different styles. You know, what I'm saying I appreciate they like going into that Mike P battle. And just doing something different. Like the shit that he was spitting, that has never been spit on URL ever before. Mm -hmm. The type of shit he was rapping, and I just feel like it was much needed because battle rap ain't just gun bars. You know, people, I, I, I like all styles. You know, you can appreciate the Shugs and the Surfs and the Tech Nines and the Verbs. But at the same time, you got to appreciate the Daylights and the JCs and the Dangers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you but, gotta but, appreciate but, every style. But then I might, think they but, both can coexist. But then people don't want them to. But ain't it battle rap though? Shouldn't you be battling your opponent? Uh, but see, that ain't just one thing though. It ain't just me like, like personally being super super direct at this man. If you can say some slick shit, because I feel like battle rap was started on you simply being better. Than the man in front of you. And think about it. That's what we all was talking about. Like, yo, my rhymes is fresher than yours. Nobody was saying, you know, fuck you, and I'm finna find out some dirt on you and and bring up all this personal shit on you in the battle. Niggas was just saying, my rhymes is fresher than you. I can rap better than you. That was the nucleus of this shit. And when I was coming up doing this shit, think about it. I'm about to be 37. So, and I I, I started battle rapping in '92. Back then, it was just about being lyrically better than your opponent. That's pretty much why I rap the way I rap. I just come from that class, from that 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 method of teaching. Was you got to be lyrically better than the man in front of you, regardless of how you do it. Regardless, and that's why I said I can appreciate every style. I don't care if you rap simple. You still got to be nice with it. You still got to be creative with it. You can be direct and creative at the same time. I think mm. it's just too many fans that, that uh, they just don't want to see lyricism. You know what I mean? And and I feel like the same thing is happening in hip-hop, period. You know what I mean? We had Tribe. You know what I'm saying? You had Grand Poole with them. You mm -hmm. had Nas, uh, Big Daddy Kane, Run DMC, Rakim. You had that. And fast forward, now you got 21 Savage. You yeah. got Lil Bibby, Dirt. Right. That is a drastic, drastic change in lyricism. So do I hate this new generation? No, I don't hate it because the times have changed and you just got to adjust to it. But I don't, I don't mm -hmm. feel like the niggas that still want to be lyrical, like, like J. Cole and Kendrick, should be uh, subjected to ridicule or hate. Because we're not rapping like these guys are. I feel like hip hop is is growing, and they and both styles can coexist. So the same thing in battle rap. If a nigga choose to be lyrical, let him do that. Mm -hmm. Let daylight do what he want to do. You know what I'm saying? But then how, do you, how do you judge lyrical, the battle though? Niggas weren't niggas weren't talking about. You think about this. Niggas weren't talking about that shit in the Lux battle in Miles, right? Was mm -hmm. Lux using a bunch of personals and super direct bars? No. He was just, he took lyricism to another level in that Miles battle. And he was mm -hmm. revered ever since. So how come when niggas are still keeping up with that tradition, how come nowadays people want to hate that? So if we get rid of that style, all we'll be left with is the, the Shugs and, and them type of niggas. Mm. So okay. the younger mm -hmm. generation... Think about a younger guy who never, if a younger guy never sees a Daylight Battle or a Jonai Battle or a Danger Zone mm -hmm. or a Chilla Battle, and they only know uh, the Shugs and Surfs and, and the, the, the Tay Rocks. Let's, see, let's just say that's all they know. So to them, that is battle rap. They don't know the other side of their history. We can't, mm -hmm. we can't just eradicate one whole side of rapping because that was the original style we started with. 
It wasn't no Facebook and YouTube and, and all this Twitter shit back then when niggas was first, first battle rapping. It wasn't no personals like that. Yeah, you can say some personal shit when you had uh, Rock, uh, KRS-One, them going and they had the bridges over and all this shit, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> going back and forth. So that's when you first started to see few personals come into play, right? That's when it really started to get personal from that battle. Yeah. Was that Shane yeah. and, and, and uh, KRS-One, right? Yeah. yeah. That's when yeah. we first started to see. Prior to that, prior to that, niggas yeah. was just on a block rapping. So, like, and you can ask Rex, you can ask Lux, you can ask Mook. When them niggas all, as serious Jones, myself, all of us older niggas, head ice, we just had probably like 10 or 12 rounds that we just memorized in our head, and we would travel from block to block and battle niggas, random niggas, with them same bars over and over prior to the YouTube age. Mm. And and it wasn't personal. It wasn't really direct at the man in front of us because we didn't even know that nigga. Yeah, Nobody just came and got me. Go ahead. Yo, but, but, but now it's a different era where you got like three, four, five months to prepare. Right, right. But that don't mean you you can't still be lyrical when you're creative. Just because I, you know what I'm saying? Just because I know you. Mm-hmm. I know something about you. You know what I mean? Like, me, personally, I just take pride into just out rapping this. I mean, personally, could just be I do throw word. personals in there. Y'all just don't be, y'all don't be catching it all the time. But I don't base, like, whole 32 well, bars, you know, what you bars that is on me being personal. Outfit. I don't think it's about being personal. I just I think it's about being direct. Like I don't give a fuck if you if you say you, it's like all right, you acknowledge and you rapping to a nigga against you. Like they like when they like come to the street fight uh, of angle and like that has nothing to do with my peak. And I got they like winning, but I'm saying that that's an example. Whereas my P round is at daylight, so it's like how do you judge that? One guy crapping his entire round towards you. The other one has a scheme that could be used in the next five battles if you really wanted to. Okay, so now this is how you judge that. This is how you judge that. When you got one guy just being indirect and one guy being direct, does one necessarily beat out the other like paper, rock, scissors? No. You got to judge it based on who was better at what they were doing. Okay. You don't, you don't like Mike Pete don't automatically get a, a, a pass or a win just because he was more direct. If they mm. like was slicker with the shit he was saying and, and, for, and you know what I mean, and more creative with what he was doing, then he gets that round. If Mike P was more creative in what he was doing, then he gets that round. At the end of the day, this shit still revolves on who was doing what they do best. Okay. At the end of the day. You, put a, think about this. In terms of boxing, you got a boxer and you got a puncher. You got a boxer and you got a puncher. Let's take uh, Hagler and Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard and Hagler, right? The best man using his style is going to win, not necessarily because you're using a particular style. So if I'm being lyrical and, and Suge is talking about my life, one of us don't automatically win the round because I was doing it lyrical and he was doing it with the personals or, or the real life shit. No, it was who did what they do best. If if his real life shit was better than my lyrical shit, then he wins that round. And that's how we should judge that. I don't think we should just automatically uh, discount one because you don't like that one. You know what I mean? This all still comes down to preference. Uh, oh, I don't, I don't like them lyrical. I don't like them bar niggas. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny is I remember when Smack was like, okay, fuck, fuck these niggas. We want bars over names. In 2013, mm-hmm. we're tired of niggas coming in half ashing in the top tiers and he's spending all his money and they, they fucking up. So he said, you know what? I'm finna just go with the bar niggas. But then he abandoned that. He abandoned it. He like, nah, I'm gonna stick with my bread and butter. So he didn't do it. But now, fast forward, the born legacies are more talked about than up in his business or the or the last summer madness. Hmm. Well, yeah. Because you're getting you're bringing it back to when niggas just have to be nice. Hey, right? how you, how do you feel about that? It's not there's no summer madness. I I I, I love it actually. I love okay. the fact that it ain't no summer madness. I feel like at that at this point, Smack would have just threw it just for the sake of throwing it. 
and we wouldn't have got a fire, fire summer madness this year anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas wouldn't have, wouldn't have went super hard. Pause. I don't even say pause. I'm too old-fashioned. But I'm just saying, niggas wouldn't have went, like, <laughs> to their fullest power. I'm just saying, niggas wouldn't have went to their fullest power, right? We would have had a whack summer madness anyway. So I think niggas need this time to reflect and to get their hunger back. And, and to miss out on whatever little money they was going to get. They need to miss that money. To say, you know what, when I do get back on that stage, I'm going to show these niggas why I'm worth X amount of dollars. Mm, That's what okay. the top tiers need to be thinking about. That's what the top tiers need to be thinking about. Hey, yo, Daniel, hey, I'm like, you know, we, go, ahead. go ahead. Nah, go ahead, my fault. No, nah, go ahead. Nah, I was going to say, a lot of people have been asking where you've been at and shit, so, I mean... Everybody knows you're going to get... Oh, man, well, I, listen, man, I just I just had Battle of the Year, a battle, top five Battle of the Year with Young Kenny. That was ridiculous. Okay. You know what I mean? Super ridiculous. I can I can damn near guarantee it's going to be top five Battle of the Year when it drops. You know what mm. I mean? I got Steams next, uh, October 22nd, Born Legacy 4. About to get up there and work this boy's soul out of his body. About to perform an exorcism on this nigga. <laughs> Damn. You know what I mean? Like I've been low key. You know what? You know what's funny though is even though I've had a somewhat quiet year, I've been working. You know what I'm saying? I started off January with with Charlie Clips. February, Sway Seven. March, B Dot. April, I was supposed to battle Clean Paper, but whatever happened with him and it didn't happen. But I still dropped some of the bars. That was in April. Then May, I battled Joni. June, I, I did a battle on Ahad, a triple threat. I took July and August off. September, I battled Young Kenny. Like, I've literally damn near been battling every month this year. And it's crazy because I think people used to see me battle, like, twice or three times a month. So to see me, like, battle once a month is like, damn, they need to be quiet. But I've been dropping crazy shit, man. I've been, I've been working. Hey Danny, hey Danny, you just you, you right now. If you are up, give you hollow. You think you could beat him? Listen, I always say this. You don't I wouldn't freestyle. battle, huh? I mean, you don't freestyle. I never seen you freestyle with rebuttal or anything. You feel me? Like people, people just sleep on it. Like I do everything. I do everything. Rebuttals, freestyle, all that. Wait till the cannon battle drop. Okay, okay, okay. Like I was saying, I wouldn't battle anyone if I didn't think I could be everyone. Mm-hmm. That's that's one of my 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 quotes or slogans or what have you. But yeah, I you know what I'm saying Hollow. He said he'll kick my ass. Okay, well let's see. Is is, is writers uh, like know, thing? Here's the thing. Is that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Just a couple members. The thing about Good me off. though, uh, myself is. I always come with three rounds and three original rounds and no bites, no recycles, no bullshit, no half-ass round, no stumble, no none of that shit, right? For years in a row, for years in a row since 2013, 2013, I got known from battling John John, went from the John John shit to the Rum Nitty shit, from the Rum Nitty shit to the Mr. Mill shit. Mm-hmm. 2013, crazy, right? Then 2014, me and Verb, me and Big K, uh, me and Briggs Belvedere, uh, all kind of shit. Free the uh, UFF, 15, me and XL, Rex, Danger, Chilla, JC. You know what I mean? Like this year, me and B Dot, me and Cannon. Like these are two classics in one year. The year ain't even out yet. You feel me? Like. Every year I've dropped at least one or two battles that were top five battles of the year. And yet so you, niggas still be sleeping and doubting. Like, I wouldn't, you can't doubt a nigga that's always coming with it. So you feel like Lux should battle you next? You or the, the, the one between you and Dave? No, no, I don't feel like he should. I just feel like, I just feel like he, I feel like he need to battle somebody from the West. Before he before he bow out, it don't have to be me or Daylight. He could battle B Dot. He could battle Disaster. Like I just feel like he needs to battle at least one person from the West. That's all. I just would like to see him and Mook 
do a role game and battle somebody mm. from the West. That's all. And then, all right, like, so, I, like I said, so look, my so little Danny. So Danny, so if they came to you and say, "Yo," so Mook and let's say, "Yo, we want to battle somebody." Who you picking to represent the West from two battles? Who's battling who? If it's up to you, I would pick Disaster to battle Mook, and I would pick Daylight to battle Lux. Not you. Mm. I think just style wise. I think just style. I mean, for one, I feel like both of them done put in, you know, way more work. Or you know what I'm saying? I feel like they definitely deserving of those battles. So I I wouldn't just put myself in there, but I would like to see Daylight and Lux and Mook in uh, Disaster. And who, who wins you know the battle? Damn, see? <laughs> I think Disaster got the edge over Mook because of his freestyle ability and his ability to rebuttal and put a rebuttal anywhere in his round and just his overall aggression. And with Daylight and Lux, that's what we got to see. Okay. That's just, we just got to see that one. You know what I'm Yo, saying? Because I would be biased if I, if I just give it to the West Coast, maybe. But I, only person that got an edge to me is, is Disaster over Mook. <laughs> Okay, as of right, yo, Danny, as of right now, your honest mm-hmm. opinion, who's the, who's the goal? Hollow. How, over Moon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Hollow why over Moon. I'm going to tell you why. I feel, I feel like Hollow got less questions that are unanswered. I've mm-hmm. seen Hollow battle on the West. I've mm-hmm. seen Hollow battle a West Coast artist. I've seen Hollow on the road. I've seen Hollow versus all kind of styles. Yeah, industry from, artists. From, the, from artists. surf to street, nigga, from the pin game with Lux, from the angles with, with clips, I've seen Hollow versus every single style. Cool. I haven't mm-hmm. seen Mook in all those situations. I haven't seen yes. Mook travel. I haven't seen Mook battle mm-hmm. nobody on the West. I think he got more unanswered questions on his resume if he if he retires right now. He has more unanswered questions. So when we're talking about the GOAT, you have to say who who has the less unanswered and it would be hollow. I haven't seen Lux battle on the road. I haven't seen Lux battle nobody from the West, but I've seen Hollow do these things. So I have him over Lux and, and Mook. What Yo, I, I think yeah, you yeah, can, good question. You can question. put Rex in there. You and I and I definitely respect Rex because he done came to the West. He done battled on the, you know, he done took role games. He went to St. Louis in a hostile environment with Ill. I seen, but I, but I've also seen Rex do a lot of um, stuff that that champions don't do. Yeah, a lot, a lot of recycles, a lot of recycles, a lot of fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Like so. The fuck shit he pulled with me, like running from the battle for a year. Like I ain't I don't see Hollow doing those things. So I can't put Rex over Hollow. What well, what about Arsenal? I've seen Arsenal fall out too many times. I've seen Arsenal choke. I, I I'm not to take away from his overall legacy because he's definitely a legend, but I don't have him over Hollow, even though he beat Hollow. Even though he beat Hollow with the over the, the fight club, whatnot. I just seen. I haven't seen Hollow fuck up. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Okay. We ain't seen Hollow fuck up. We ain't seen Hollow pull a phone out. We ain't seen Hollow choke. So I, mm-hmm. I have him over everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. The only only one that's the only the only person that I w- could consider over Hollow is the uh, disaster. Mm-hmm. It did. Yeah. Like if I were going to put somebody over him, I would put Disaster because Disaster has done it all. He's done damn near everything you could possibly do in battle rap. You want to say clips or verb? No, no. Come on now. We we looking at all time. When you say go, you say greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. If we if we stop Clips Legacy at 2013, we could put Clips damn near at, as the go. But but from 2014, 15. 16, he had too many fuck-ups. He cut his legacy out. Yeah. Damn. Well, yo, you know what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to sound somewhat crazy, but how do you feel about Tay Rock and his progress? Damn, man. You know what? I, to me, he my favorite URL battler. To me, he the most consistent URL battler. 
can is take he like in a goat, is he in a goat status? Uh, not quite. Close, but not not Mount Westmore worthy. No. Can Tay Rock beat 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 Hollow on URL? Mm, that's you know what. Possibly, cause I, I to me Surf beat Hollow. To me Surf beat Hollow. So if okay. Surf can do it, Rock can do it. Is it mm. likely? No. No, but I I I can't see Rock getting smoked. I can't see him getting beat badly if he does lose it. But I mean, Rock can possibly win that battle. Hmm. 50-50. Hmm. Damn. But m- so, maybe, so it's, maybe it's, that's because Hollow, Hollow had that little, you know, the little hiatus, you know, him being locked up and shit, and him coming back with the, the surf battle, maybe, you know, getting the ring rust off, maybe that has something to do with it. But I had surf edge in that battle. Okay. Personally. That's my opinion. So hmm. I feel like if surf can do it, then rock can do it. Is what else do you think Rock needs to do before we put him in that conversation about legends? Shit, man! If, if he can beat Hollow, shit, you you damn near gotta put him in there because from that first Clips battle, he ain't like he ain't missed a step. He's been getting better. He's the only one that's actually been getting better because he never was like no super lyrical, super pin game, super dope nigga. But he was always fire at what he does, and he's built on that throughout the years. We ain't seen him miss no step. We ain't seen him fuck up, choke, half-ass, none of that. Only battle I really didn't like Rock in was that John John battle on the Good Day to Die card or Perfect Day to Die card. I didn't like neither one of them niggas in that battle. Like, no one talks about John John versus uh, Tay Rock. Think about it. Like that was the only one I didn't like him in. But other than that, he's been consistent. Hmm. Okay. That, that is true. No one nah. that really does talk about that battle. Like that to be real true. That's a that, nobody won that battle. You feel me? Like neither one of them won. Like they hey. both lost. How you feel about how you feel about Surf and Suge? I feel like Surf gonna uh, whoop Suge quite easily. Easy. If if they if they taking this shit, listen. If they taking this shit serious and they both not like on the phone, like oh hey bro, uh, hey what you got? Let me hear what you got. You know, let me hear what you got. Like if they just really not calling each other and not talking to each other and they really taking this shit serious, I got surf three o. Three body bag. Not a body bag, but but edging every round because he just got more tools than than uh, should. Suge only okay. got so many weapons. Surf, surf is a little bit more versatile than Suge, and more oh. lyrical. He could be, he could be aggressive. You know what I'm saying? That pocket check shit, that ain't gonna automatically win Suge around to me. You could pocket check Surf. So what? He ain't really give a fuck about that shit. I, I got, hmm. I got Surf three zero, and I'm not even a Surf fan, but I got him three zero in that particular battle. Okay, hmm. okay, okay, but, okay. But Danny, Danny, the, the. Um, I guess the thing I wanted to ask you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think a lot of people talk about this before, like when I was playing ball and shit, it's the difference between playing to win versus, you know what I'm saying? Like playing not to lose. And I feel like surf actually plays right. not to lose a lot. You know what I mean? So would you think that would get, like, he, uh, like, like you said, he ain't coming for the kill. Like he ain't all exactly. the way there all the time. Well, we as have seen to, surf. As opposed to should. Damn, that's the point. But particular battle, I I feel like Surf gonna show up. He don't want to be the nigga to to say I lost to Suge. Now Suge is the king of Jersey. He ain't finna let that shit happen. Yeah. If I'm Surf, that's my too. mind state. That's my mind state. If I'm Surf. Yo, I'm thinking that shit too. But mad people is saying Surf. Uh, Saying sugar on three O server. I'm like three O. That nigga wild and be like. Oh, nah, man, that shit crazy. Well, tell them niggas to put their money on sugar again. That's you know what I'm saying? Man. Just tell them niggas to put their money up. But you know put what? Put their money where their mouth is, man. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm actually considering that on oh, sugar. Sure. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually considering doing that, man. <laughs> 
I you, you, I don't you believe your money on sugar. Well, actually, yeah. okay. First of all, who's the underdog? Who's the underdog? Uh, I would think it would be Shug on paper, for sure. I mean, yeah, I would think Shug. So. Shug's a fucking underdog, and and it's rightfully so. Like I said, if they both take this shit serious, it could be a fire battle. Can't see Shug winning two rounds. I can see him maybe getting around, but I mean, but the two rounds, no. Surf could just if Surf just doing this shit for for some money or just doing it for the sake of doing it and don't really give a fuck, then yeah, sure gonna win. You gonna win every time when your opponent don't care. Mm, that's a fact. True. True. I get, I can see Shug so getting we personal talking about with him. Both of these niggas at a hundred percent. Okay, let me ask you this: What's the best Shug we seen? Now compare that to the best surf we seen. Uh, come on, Danny. All right, nigga playing hard. Okay, now. I'm gonna say. <laughs> nah, okay, I'm gonna say the I'm best say surf I seen real. versus uh. Mm, X Factor. X Factor. Mm. Or what? Or conceded maybe. Con, that was dope. I was regardless, con, regardless, yeah. regardless, regardless. Either one of those versus the best Shug. Best Shug was versus T T Top. Best Shug uh, I seen was versus T Top. Was it? Is that the one when he was like scuba scuba driver scuba diver Uber driver? So some you yeah, know all that you know, had the little Shug was okay. Fast. That was the best yeah, Shug, Shug I seen. Was, Shug was kind of wild on T Top, yo. Okay, that's I the best shoot I've seen. Bread. So can Ooh, that shoot right. be? Nah, really. I don't know. Well, I think he was better versus T Top lyrically. So if we take mm-hmm. uh, versus the best serve. I still got serve winning two one at, at least three zero. And but for, for me, it's a three zero. Damn. Okay. Look, here's here's what I think will happen, bro. I actually think what 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 could happen is. First round, Shug comes out out the gate going crazy on him. Personal. You see what I'm saying? Now, Surf gets through the first, but that second, like against Charlie Clips, like he choked in that second. Like, he can get rattled, man. I, I think he can do that. Like, I think Calico rattled him. You know what I mean? Like, I think I think he <laughs> – Oh, shit. Like, even conceded. Conceded right. first round against that nigga was just fucking cra- – like, he had to do what he did in those other two rounds. Like, so I can see Shug so rattling him words, and then words, going crazy. In, in other surf. words, Surf got a glass chin. In other words, Surf got I, a glass chin. If you, if you hit that nigga hard enough, he gonna buckle every time. He kind of like oh, Felix Trinidad. The nigga like Felix Trinidad, man. He he like Trinidad was super nice, but if you hit him on the mm-hmm. chin, he was going. He hit the canvas every time. So that's Surf. Surf versus yeah, so if aggression. So Surf come out swinging. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know. I feel like Surf need to be extra aggressive his first round to counteract it. Oh, oh yeah. But you know what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, real shit, let me tell you something. This is coming from a battler. That It don't yeah. matter about how nice you are with that rapping shit, how nice you are with that pen. If your heart ain't made of, of solid, if your heart ain't solid, you're going to fold under pressure. You can be the nicest <laughs> nigga in the world, but if, if you fall under pressure, it don't matter. You're going to lose. You can't be a bitch nigga in real life. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. This shit is real. When you in that ring and a nigga barking on you and he telling you he's going to slap you and he gonna, he tell you he's going to fuck your mama and her ass and make you watch and he telling you all this shit, he telling you he's going to slap your daughter, you can't if that shit rattles you for real on the inside. You're going to lose that battle. You got to be able to take all that. You got to be able to take all that and brush it off. Like okay, yeah, that shit was that was cute. Now it's my turn, nigga. Now let me say what the fuck mm. I gotta say. If you got that mentality, cause that's that's the mentality I have. No matter what a nigga saying to me, I don't give a fuck. Like nigga, let now let me get off. But if a nigga hits you with some bars. And you and you you shake like you nervous. Your hands is trembling. Your throat, you your your voice might quiver the next round. Mm. You might forget. You might forget your bars. Nigga, I hit you so hard. You might damn near choke. You can't be a bitch, nigga, in real life. So that's going to yeah. be tested. 
That's mm-hmm. going to be tested. That's going to be tested. I do know. I know Suge with the shit because I, I don't, you know, so I know Suge with the shit for real, personally. Just off of me and him personal interactions with each other, I know he a real, real one. I don't, exactly. I don't really know Surf like that. You know what I'm saying? Me and Surf had one phone conversation when we was having our little beef, and we we squashed it. But I know when I talked to Suge, Suge was a real one. Hmm. So we we got to see. But I, okay. I mean, if we just going off the pen, I got Surf. If we going yeah. off heart, you might <laughs> it might be a different story if you going by heart. Damn. Man, this is a career master Shug though, man. So he's gonna be Definitely. a better hit, bro. Because he ain't gonna he not gonna get a bigger match ever. So this is do or die. And but honestly, it's almost a win win because he can win the battle or he can lose but lose in a great fight and still win. See what I mean? Hey, All Danny, he gotta Danny. do is put up a hell of a fight. Hey, y'all hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. got you, bro. Hey, 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 Danny, how do you know somebody yep. hits you with a crazy haymaker? Uh, let me see. Damn, I've been hit with... Come on, now. I done, I've been hit with haymakers my whole career. I done stood in front of fucking JC, Big K, mm-hmm. Verb, Mr. Mills, Chilla, Danger, Briggs Belvedere. I done been hit with haymakers left and right. And I know I got hit when mm-hmm. it, I get mad. Like I'm, I'm mad now. Like I'm, it, it, it pissed me off. Like it really touched me. Some, some of the niggas said, "Now nah, I'm mad." Mm-hmm. Like down there, fight, fight, want to fight. You gotta control that though. That like some like that, like Kayshawn, he he's not in control of that. You hit him with some shit, he gonna be ready to fight. You gotta have tough skin to do this. I, I tell people that all the time. Man. Before they, before you even think about battle rapping, you must be prepared to fight, like literally. If you ain't willing to fight for real in in a in a, in a battle, don't battle. Mm-hmm. But don't. But Danny, let me ask you, you this though: Don't that personal shit though? That personal, like if you actually take it personally, doesn't that help you sometimes? I feel nah, like K nah, Shine and K nah. Rock turn up when they feel insulted. And that second round, them niggas go crazy. Like nigga be like, like nigga be having anger tears in his eye, nigga Tay Rock against Ill Will. Hey man, this shit this shit is emotional, man. This shit is emotional. If a nigga up there mm-hmm. saying some crazy shit to you, you put it like this. Put it like this. You could you you ever seen like two teenagers fighting, like one got slapped and tears was in his eyes, but he was still mm-hmm. fighting? Right. Put like if if you get slapped, put like if you get slapped, first thing uh, gonna happen is your your eyes gonna water, your nose going your nose dripping now, your your ears is mm-hmm. ringing. You mad than a motherfucker, but just because you got tears in your eyes don't mean you a bitch. You still fighting. Yeah. This shit touches you. This shit shit touches you, man. This battle rap shit is some serious shit. This is a mind game. This ain't have nothing to do with nothing else because it's not physical. It's not physical unless it turns physical. You feel me? Like the performance and all that shit. This shit is in the psyche of a man. This shit touches your psyche. This is a test. How Mm. much insults can you deal with and not lose your temper and not get emotional and not forget your rounds? If a nigga say some shit to you, and you forget your round, you already lost that battle. If a nigga say some shit to you and you swing on him, you lost that battle. Even Man. if you swing on him and knock him out, you still lost the battle. Because you, the, the name of the game is to not let this man affect you emotionally. Mm-hmm. That's the name of the game. You, can't, you, you can't, ever had anything in your contract? Because huh? I know certain, I, I've heard of certain battle rappers yeah. having certain shit in their contract where you can't talk about certain yeah. shit. Now, me personally, I would have mad no, shit no, in my no, contract. No, 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 like, no. Bruh. Nah, nah. Nah, never, never, never. 
I mean, me personally, I don't, I don't care. Like, I, a nigga can say whatever he want to say in that ring. It's just outside the ring, that's where it, now we not battling. This is real life shit. Like, mm-hmm. stop, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't get on no blogs talking about my kids. Don't get on no blogs talking about my wife. Don't do that. Because now we not battling. Now it's some real shit. But in the ring, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. Outside the ring, that that's it. Cut it off. Because I don't, I don't do that. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. no, I haven't never had nothing in my contract, but for any nigga that puts that in their contract, that's some whole shit. Because cause the name of the game is a nigga supposed to be able to say what the fuck ever he want to say to you. Mm. So I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't even picture a nigga saying, yo, Smack, tell that nigga I'm going to do the battle, but tell him don't mention my dead fucking homie. Please tell that nigga that. Cause if you say something about my homie, I'm fucking him up and I'm gonna fuck the event up. If you if you say that, you automatically lose the fucking battle before it even happens. Uh. Cause that's a whole move. That's like that's like a UFC fighter saying, "Hey yo, Dana White, or whoever, <laughs> whoever the, the uh, <laughs> hey, tell a nigga no wind kicks <laughs> or no or no flying knees. We can fight, but tell a nigga don't do that flying knee move he do on them other niggas." Because if you do that to me, uh, niggas going to be on and popping. You can't do that. This is a fucking fight. Anything goes. Anything goes. I have a question. I got one. And then I got one last question before I let you go. One question. Yeah. If you, if you was battling somebody, mm-hmm. and they and they somehow got a hold of your social security number, and they said it in the battle, <laughs> is that going too far? No, I'm serious, though. Is that going too Yo, far? Yo, man, that's some whole other shit. <laughs> Shit, man. God damn. They said I never, listen, I've never thought of that in my life. I've never thought that. Um, that to me, damn, man, that's, that's almost like some police shit, some uh, some whole shit. That's some buster shit. Because cause real battlers don't even got to use that type of shit. But if a nigga did go there, I mean, <laughs> damn, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because that's like out, that's going outside of battle rap to me down there. You feel me? Like you could talk about my kids, you could talk about my wife, you could, but to put my personal social out there, nigga, nigga, I got, I, yeah, I, 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 I damn near have to fuck you up now. Like fuck this battle, I have to do something to you for that. Okay, okay. That, that's just, each man got to deal with that on his own. It ain't no protocol to that one. Ain't no protocol. I'm saying, I'm saying if, niggas, if niggas is going crazy on your wife or your kids and your wife is in the building. Don't bring your wife to a rap battle. Don't bring your girl to a rap battle. Don't bring I your mama to a rap battle. Because a nigga is going to go there. And if he do, it's your fucking fault. You can't be mad if, because if a nigga brought his mama to the battle, my first ten bars is in her face. I'm gonna get in this nigga mama face. Fuck rapping to him. <laughs> Fuck rapping to him. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be like, first of all, bitch, this bitch ass son you had. I wish you would have aborted this nigga, bitch. And I'm gonna make sure a piece of spit get on her lip. And I want you to do something about it. Nigga, did, you, nigga, did you say a piece of spit get on her lip? Yeah, yeah. I'm her face like she a battle rapper. Nigga, don't bring your mama to, to my motherfucking battle, nigga. She, she's fair game. Do you bring your daughter to a war? Do you bring your mama to a war? Do you see any U.S. soldier taking his mama on the, on the war field? See, if she gets shot, who fault is that? That's real shit. Okay, Yo. don't bring your mama or your girl or your kids to a battle rap. Cause a nigga, certain niggas just have no, no chill button as they say. Certain niggas don't have it. You can imagine if if I brought my kids to me and Arsenal, but if I battle Arsenal, I bring my kids. He he liable to pick my daughter up and 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 swing her around or some shit. You feel me? Now we got to now it's, now we gun playing. Now we got to be gun play. You feel me? But that's my fault though. You, you feel did, me? Yeah. That's my fault. Whatever happens after that, that's that's whatever. But it, I shouldn't have brought her in the first place if I didn't even want a chance of that happening. Mm. 
So if a nigga bring his mama, I'm on that bitch head. <laughs> Fuck her, <laughs> nigga. Like nigga, fuck her. I don't care if you brought your daddy, nigga. I'm, my nigga, bars is coming to everybody. I'll take this shit serious. I need this so attitude I, I when you battle, put bro. Myself in, if I know I'm that type of nigga, I wouldn't put myself in that particular, you know, position. Cause I know God. I would do it. <laughs> Yo, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yo, Daddy, man, I definitely appreciate you calling up, man. Some dope conversation. Oh, for sure. Real shit. Oh, yeah, Word, as yeah. always, man, as fuck these, man. We salute to y'all, man. Keep this shit going, man. And look out for me and young Kenny. You know what I'm saying? Look out for that battle of the fucking year. And, and be ready to see steams get steamed. <laughs> you feel me? We're going to get you back up here before the battle, my nigga. Oh, for sure. That's what it is, bro. Nigga fanned up low seven. Who up? You good? I'm alive, I'm weak. Shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, fuck your head, man. Shot this shit. Who up?